wake up today and I just felt this burden in my heart for all the people who are addicted to something. God came through Jesus Christ to set us free from any addiction. He paid the price so that you and I can be free and live in his freedom. That's the life he has for us. It's a life in freedom from bondage. And the enemy comes with so many snares through deception, through the lies, through temptations to bind us again, to put us back into that prison again. He hates the freedom that God has provided for us through Jesus Christ on the cross. The enemy hates that. So I just want to read a very serious word from revelations you know we're living in a very serious time God doesn't have so much time I mean everything is speeding up to the end the really big end where God is going to collect his people the body of Christ and come and get us he's coming and getting us his bride and we need to be pure we need to be living in that freedom and not being deceiving ourselves. And I know there's even ministers out there. You don't, you don't know that you are deceived because you are deceived. So God wants you to open your eyes today to see that you have been deceived. I want to read something. It's very serious. It's from the book of Revelation. 
the second chapter. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven golden lampstands, says this. And I think that angel is the angel that holds the anointing over us, the lampstand. I know your deeds and your toil and persever perseverance, and that you cannot tolerate evil, evil men, and you put to the test those who call themselves apostles. And they are not, and you found them to be false. And you have perseverance and have endured for my name's sake, and have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Therefore, remember from where you have fallen, and repent and do the deeds you did at first or else I'm coming to you and will remove your lampstand out of its place unless you repent so that's a very serious word I mean this is like a person who has the gifts in the spirit you even have been walking with God you have experience you have fruits and you have even discernment in many areas of your life yet you have lost your first love and that's the love that we are supposed to live in as the bride the body of christ is going to be his bride the bride is in love with his bridegroom and many ministers many christians out there they for have forgotten their first love they have forgotten the beginning of the relationship with Jesus. Why they came to believe in him. Why they opened up their hearts from the beginning. And then you do all these things like Martha in the Bible that was more focused on doing a lot of Christian activities. And it's good, but it's not enough. Because even then you can be deceived and not get it. You lose your first love, like you marry to somebody and then you don't love that person anymore. You're not in love with that person anymore. You just married. You just live together in the same house because you used to do it. God doesn't want a marriage like that. He wants a love relationship with all of us. And he has provided a way for our freedom, for us to be constantly in love with him. He wants you to be in love with him again. You who are watching me right now, I'm talking to you. He wants you to go back to that first place because the Bible is so serious. You who are a minister, it says here, I will read the last verse. Therefore remember from where you have fallen and repent. And do the deeds you did at first or else I'm coming to you and I will remove your lampstand out of its place unless you repent. This is very, very serious. But the more we go through the, towards the end, the more God will sharpen everything in our lives. He wants everything to be pure and he doesn't have so much time because he's coming soon. And he wants all of us to be ready. He wants us to come into his army and take our position and clean out our lives and repent from our sins now. So I'm talking to you who are a minister in there, who are sitting in your house and you maybe know God for your whole life. You've been preaching, teaching, you've been prophesying, but you have forgotten your first love. You just do all these things because it's a tradition to you. You used to do it. You know this is right. You even have discernment in many areas, but you have forgotten the love. And everything we do in this life should be based on love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, if you don't do things based on love, it's not worth anything. 
even our Christian activities, even praying for the sick, even casting out demons, even raising up dead, if we don't do it with love, is not worth anything. God even says to you, you need to repent because it's, it's a kind of deception. And I want to read another verse very quickly. It's in Proverbs chapter 6. It says, and we all know that God is full of mercy, right? But still, He's also righteous and He requires purity, honesty, a wholeheartedness from our lives. He requires that if we're going to live for Him and work for Him. There are six things which the Lord hates. Yes, seven which are an abomination to Him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that is devises wicked plans. Feet that run rapidly to evil. And false witness who utters lies. And one who spreads strife among brothers. So see, it's better for God that you are actually cold than lukewarm than not have that love. It's better for God that you are called, actually, to be radical. So he's calling you today to the Father's house, to come back to the world, to come back to his love. He's calling you out of that lukewarmness, out of that deception, where you maybe have been addicted to other things in your life. Maybe you are addicted to porn, unclean things come in instead the enemy is a liar and he finds a doorway through our weakness to enter in with his lies as i said when you are deceived you don't know that you are deceived because you're deceived and i want to wake you up today from heaven wake up in the name of jesus wake up towards the, the, the computer stretch out your hand right now and I will pray for you like you are in a service the, the spirit the anointing doesn't need to be I don't need to be in your room to pray for you there's no distance in the spirit realm but the Holy Spirit is right there where you are sitting and watching this program right now and I just pray, Father God, for these people who are reaching out their hands. You know who they are. People that are living in sin, who are living in deception, who are living in a lie. And deep down inside, they know that they are deceiving themselves. They know that they are living in a compromise with you, Father God. 
and I pray that your spirit, spirit of truth will come into the living room, will come into their office, wherever they are sitting right now, into their bedroom, and open up the, the truth for them, Father God. Give them anointing for their eyes so they can see, anoint their ears so they can hear again, anoint their hearts, open up their hearts for your love, Father God, so they can start loving you. Father God, I pray for these people this morning. I pray that you will reach into these people's lives who are deceived, who have lost their first love, who are living with this, all these addictions, with addiction of unclean things, of lies, of uh, addiction to money, addiction to drugs, addiction to food, addiction to shop, 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 addiction to games. I break it in the name of Jesus right now. I break that addiction over your life today. Be made whole today. Be free from your addiction today. I pray that your spirit will enter into their life again. Let them come to this mercy seat. Let them come to the mercy seat, Father God. And you will, you will wash their sins into pureness. They will be pure, white as snow. And they can start all over again. Pure. Pure. I speak pureness into your life. Everything that we hide in life is sin. Because sin makes you go away from the light. Sin cannot stand being in the light. Everything that you need to whisper about, that you need to hide, and nobody knows what you're doing except God. You know, if you do that for a very long time, it says in the Bible that one day it will be shouted from the rooftop, your sin. God will not allow it until a certain point. If you don't repent today and turn away from your wicked way, and He will heal you, He will bless your life again, He will forgive your sins and forget them, but you have to repent and show God that you really mean repentance from the depths of your heart. If you don't do it and you get many, many chances, to repent, it will be exposed. This is, not, this is not a threat, but I'm speaking the truth from the Word of God. One day, your sin will be exposed. Yeah. One day, you will be standing in front of a crowd, maybe you're a preacher, and you think you have an anointing, and there is no anointing there. And you try to make jokes, you try to be funny, you try to use a technique to, to get the attention of the people and it, it's nothing there, it's dead. Because the mantle has left your life. The lampstand, as I read, has been moved away from your life. And you didn't know it. You didn't know when that happened. So I just pray with the authority given to me by Jesus Christ that you will repent today and be made whole in the name of Jesus. Let's worship.
merciful to these people. You're so merciful to us. You're so merciful. You're stretching out your hand today and say, come, show me your love. Let's get back to the first love. You're stretching out your hand. You're ready to forgive because you want to raise up your people. something today. I know, I know because this was on the Father's heart today. I know he's reached into your life today. This is a chance from heaven. Take it. Take it. And let him change your life so he can use you in a mighty way. My brother and my sister. you have a wonderful Sunday and stay in the truth stay in the purity of God stay in the holiest of the holiest with him he will use you he will use you he will use you again mighty way I know it I know it he always picks us up with that good God bless you. Amen. <laughs>